Welcome back to the Gimes Gamers. You know, this was important for me because I love Drake. I'm a huge Drake enthusiast. I knew that the Cutlass changes were coming down the pipe, and I thought to myself, great, I'm going to get some information on the on the redesign that they've done on the Cutlass Black. I want to know what it is that they've done. So I, I was kind of anticipating this episode. I'm going to play this particular section, and then afterwards I'm going to be in the verse looking at the Cutlass, talking about the changes, and... Uh, We'll see what it is that I like and that I don't like about the changes. So let's watch this, and then afterwards you join me in the verse. Seventy years ago, Drake Interplanetary built the Cutlass in a gamble to win a military bid. But the military didn't bite. Drake Interplanetary wasn't deterred, however. The company retrofitted the Cutlass for civilian use. When we first rolled out a flyable model of the Cutlass to the public, it kind of drifted from our own expectations and from our own intent. Um, it lost some of the aggressive characteristics that we had, had sold it on when we first unveiled it. And that was one of the biggest things we wanted to recapture in the rework. We wanted to make it feel like, look and feel like the, the ship we had originally promised to people. Um, but to really pull that off, we did have to make some changes and split off a few pieces of functionality. But then what that left us with was a lot more room to really build on the uh, rating support potential of the Drake Cutlass, where now this can be that backbone of a small militia unit, of a small just defense group. The first iteration of the Cutlass uh, wasn't very ergonomical for the pilot or the co-pilot. Um, we, had, we had many complaints from uh, the customers saying uh, it's hard to get in and out and you know, people stepping on other people's toes. So uh, we went with a, with a better design on this one. Uh, we have the pilot and co-pilot being able to enter and exit from either side of the sea stations with neither the pilot nor co-pilot getting in the way of each other on enter or exit uh, for much uh, faster mounting, dismounting. Uh, the living quarters have also been uh, retrofitted to be uh, a little bit more spacious. Uh, the armaments uh, have been upgraded. We have uh, more space for uh, uh, armored equipment, uh, as well as bunk racks, the main living quarters, as well as access to the, uh, the gun's main weapon system uh, located in living quarters instead of uh, the rear. It's, it's going to be a very potent threat to come across for you know, mid-sized ships and up because it's going to carry a lot of missile firepower. Uh, we've added more guns to the ship. Uh, just its general armor and durability can now really sell through both in its appearance and its performance. We didn't skimp out on what it can do. Uh, we made sure you can, you can haul your cargo, you can haul your friends, uh, you can blow up a ship if it's trying to take you down. Some people uh, decide to use our ship to take other people down, I guess. The Travel Safety Advisory System estimates that 15,000 people die annually in outlaw raids and the Cutlass Black accounts for two-thirds of all ships used by known piracy groups. I'm in the first now. I'm having a great time with my new graphics card. Thank you, community, for all the donations to make this possible. I am falling in love with Star Citizen all over again. And I thought to myself, what a perfect way to get back into talking about a ship that I own, the Cutlass Black. And let's talk about some of these changes that came down the pipe. And let's talk about what it is aesthetically that I like versus I don't like. Now, let's look at the old model versus the new model. The older model... I felt had a lot of characteristical personality to it. I, I, I felt like it had a little bit more of that rogue quality to the ship. It was thinner. It was harder to hit. The, the new version definitely looks meaner. <laughs> it looks a little bit more able to handle itself in a situation. It looks a little bit more militaristic. Definitely beefier. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, really. Like, it should be able to handle ships that are from medium size and up better 
The good thing about this is that you can actually target larger ships now, or you should be able to. And why is that a good thing? Well, it gives you more variety. It gives you a larger selection of your loot. If you're getting into a larger ship, and hopefully you're successful at it, <laughs> when you get inside, you can say, oh, I've got a wider array of loot to choose from. So that is a very good thing, because this is the type of role that the Cutlass Black is intended for, which is kind of an invasion ship. As to how it's going to handle smaller ships, and um, I'm I'm sure some of the maneuverability aspects will be dampened a bit as time moves forward. This is all speculation right now. I did go to Spectrum uh, and try and find any updates as to schematics that, that the people were very helpful there. I love Spectrum. They told me no, not yet, that they know of. Nobody really knew anything. I talked to the devs. Uh, I did not get an answer. As as the, as the it comes out, I will attach that link to this video. The, the, as far as I know of, what has changed to the schematics is the, the direct uh, schematics of the ship is that the turret guns on the top are going to be upgraded to S3s, which is great. Um, it makes sense because they're really making this ship larger. And so the guns should actually, you know, be able to like handle larger type ships. And it was stated also that the Cutlass Black will has, uh, will also be receiving more missiles. So that might be the kind of fix to making the ship larger and an easier target to hit for smaller ships is like, okay, well, you're dealing with smaller ships. It might be harder to hit those smaller ships. I mean, I've played Arena Commander, Vandal Swarm, Pirate Swarm with the Cutlass. And personally, I think that like it is definitely hard to hit ships in a Cutlass compared to, you know, if you're talking about like flying a Hornet. It's two different experiences. So the Cutlass is not really, if you've played a Cutlass and a Hornet, you definitely will know the difference when you're in the game and you're like, man, these these Hornets are just like flying around me, killing everything while I'm just in my Cutlass, like do to do and, and not able to like kill as much. So, you know, I think by making the ship larger, they're saying, okay, we're, we're giving it more validity as a, as a really a, a tankier ship. Uh, but if you're having issues with like smaller ships, here's some more missiles. Go at it. Have some fun. And cool. I, I'm actually happy with that. As somebody that is an owner of the Cutlass, I'm thinking to myself that the ship is going to be more used as a ship that's kind of like a uh, an intrusion type ship that comes in real fast, docks with like ships, gets all the loot that it can out of the ships, you know, and... Um, gets away safely and the safe part means that the ship should be a little bit larger and able to take hits and that it has like turrets that can take care of, of you know the the other ships around and missiles and and now it seems like it has it as to the aesthetics of the ship looking at this at this picture again it does seem to me like the ship itself um kind of went away from like that rogue pirate and went into more like this is serious super sci-fi we're just making the, the the ship like tanky uh military mode and i don't know if i'm okay with that particular aspect of it i would like some type of like custom design to be able to make the ship look piratey again but I will say, I do like the fact that the ship is bigger in general. And like they said in the video, they're giving you extra living space. They're giving you a living space that did not exist in the previous old model. So it's definitely a bonus. You know, from a buyer standpoint, now that you have a living space in the Cutlass, I think that makes it much cooler. Like the cool factor just went up times 10. And also a little bit more cargo space uh, and area for equipment hardware. Like, yes, all right, okay. I'm not so uh, unhappy about this uh, move to make it like a, a bit bigger and a bit beefier, able to hit larger targets and take more booty. All right. The animations, let's get into that. They did fix a lot of the animations and I'm, I'm really happy about that. And they did that by actually redesigning the cockpit and you can see that here. I do like the changes to the cockpit because it is easier now to get in and out as the pilot and the co-pilot. That had to happen, like really. Um, it was very sloppy moving around in the uh the cabin area the the the, the, the cockpit area and it, it, it there were a lot of glitches in that area so this kind of like uh give gives people who own the cutlass uh an answer for that and it, it makes the ship in itself a larger ship so all in all I would say that I am very happy with the cutlass black changes um I'm pretty sure they're going to adopt this into um the blue and the red 
you know, at least the cockpit design. I'm not quite sure about the schematics and the laws of that, but like I, as I said, as time goes forward, and and if uh, anybody has any links that they can throw in here as well, I will put that in the description of this video so that people can come back to this video and have something that they can go to. My favorite ship, the Cutlass Black, one of my favorites. Yar! I hope you guys like the video. Like and share if you do. It helps me out. Subscribe. Tell other people about the channel. Really appreciate you guys. See you on the next video.